you begin with breaking news in the search for this woman, Ariana Taylor in Gary, Indiana. Police announced a major development in the case today. They found a body in a grassy area. But then the coroner arrived and discovered it wasn't really a body they found, but something else. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza is live in Gary to sort it all out. Sabrina. Dave, that twist, a huge mistake. Gary police announced that they had found a body in a grassy area. And then a few hours later, with family huddled by waiting for answers, they retract that announcement, saying that body was not a body at all, but actually was a rubber silicone doll. Family and friends stood outside this grassy field. So the coroner's van come up the street. Um, the feeling was like indescribable because, you know, it's like my heart dropped was like, is this her? Kevin Collins was one of them waiting for news of 23 year old Ariana Taylor. I had called the mom, you know, and told her that she should get over here. Taylor was last heard from eight days ago. Police found her car on Monday crashed off I-65. Since then, police have been looking on foot with canine units on ATV, in area hospitals and even underwater with no luck. Taylor's friends and family formed a search party to look for her. I just didn't understand, you know, how um, Gary Police Department, you know, along with the paramedics and them, couldn't notice off back that this wasn't a real human being. After all that searching, the Lake County Coroner's Office told us that a NIPSCO employee doing work nearby called Lake County Dispatch because they thought they'd found something. Police showed up. They even sent out a statement saying they'd found a body, but it was a doll. We asked police how that could be confused. They told us there was a sheet over the doll and that they couldn't remove that sheet because it was evidence until the coroner arrived on scene. This mess aside, both Gary police and Taylor's family say they will continue, make no mistake, the search for her or for more answers. And we'll keep you updated as soon as we learn more. For now, that's the latest. We're in Gary, Indiana. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. You've got a feel for that family. Thanks, Sabrina.